sir, my fellow classmates and every, everybody present here. My name is Pratik Gupta, student of BTEC, 8th semester, Mechanical Engineering, at Rajasthan, University Department of Rajasthan Technical University, Kota. Today, I am here to present the topic of my seminar presentation on hydraulic turbine for sediment handling under the guidance of uh, T.P. Sharma. So, let's start with the first slide. These are the topic of my seminar. Firstly, Introduction to Hydraulic Turbine A turbine is a prime mover that uses the energy of flowing water, converts it into the mechanical energy in the form of rotation of the runner. A prime mover is a machine which uses the energy of a substance and converts it into the mechanical energy. The following diagram shows the classification of turbine. Now, the classification of hydraulic turbine. Turbine can be classified on the basis of different parameters. First, based on the type of energy at inlet to the turbine. Second, based on the direction of flow of water to the runner. Third, based on the head under which the turbine works. Fourth, based on the specific speed of the turbine. Now, Hydropower and Hydraulic Turbine Hydropower is one of the cleanest form of energy and has been used in many countries as a principal source of electricity. Hydraulic turbines coupled with hydro generators form, form the so-called hydro unit which are widely used nowadays for generating electric power. Since the fluid medium is water, these turbines are also known as water turbines. It has been reported that two-thirds of the world's feasible hydropower resources are still undeveloped. Out of these potential resources, more than 55% lies in Asia alone. Now, models of erosion. The most often quoted expression for erosion is Erosion is directly proportional to the nth power of the velocity. There are several other fundamentals of the studies of the erosion behavior and its prediction. General erosion model given by researcher is as follows. Erosion is a fundamental operating condition, properties of particle, properties of waste material, etc. Now, wear and erosion. According to the standard of ASTM 64088, wear is defined as damage to a solid surface, generally involving progressive loss of material due to relative motion between the surfaces and the contacting substances or substances. The wear rate, which is the rate of material removal, depends upon the geometry of the interacting surfaces. Types of interacting material. Properties, load and surface, pressure, surrounding temperature, humidity, atmosphere, surface property and relative velocity between the interacting. This image in the slide shows various forms of erosion via mechanism. Erosion wear or erosion is one form of wear caused by the impacts of solid or liquid particles on a solid surface. The flow medium contains particles that possesses enough kinetic energy to damage the metallic surface. The mechanism of erosive wear is quite similar to the abrasive wear, but in the case of the abrasive wear, the eroding agent is much bigger in size and the angle of impingement is lower. Erosion in Pelton turbine. In the case of Pelton turbine, all the hydraulic energy of the water is converted into the kinetic energy before the runner inlet. Because of the high application of Pelton turbine, the velocity of the jet is usually higher than 100 meter per second. Since the velocity is dominant factor for erosion, the rise in the velocity market, the flow more turbulent, increasing the erosion rate. 
Brake has classified erosion of pelted turbine in four parts inlet and outlet wall, nozzle, uh, runner, and the last fourth one, wheel bed. The image at the back shows the erosion in the pelted turbine. Erosion in Francis turbine. Francis turbine are also one of the seriously affected turbines due to the sand erosion. Brett has classified the erosion in several components of the turbine, which includes first the inlet wall system, second the spiral casing, third the pressure relief and or by pass system, and fourth the guideway system, fifth the runner and runner seats, sixth the trap tube. And last, the sharp C. This image shows erosion in different part of Francis turbine. Some recent findings related to the erosion in guide veins and its consequent effect. Guide veins are connected to Shafts which are which can rotate about its axis so that the closing and opening according to the different flow and load conditions are possible. Inside the clearance gap, the flow is driven from high pressure site to the low pressure site, dis dis uh, disturbing the primary flow in the flow pressure or suction site. This leakage occurs with a very high acceleration inside the gap, which creates rotational flow component after mixing with the main flow. As a result, vertex filaments are developed downstream at both ends, which eventually hit the runner plates. This image shows the leakage flow and vertex core through clearance gap. Coating techniques and maintenance. The most common Hydroabrasive erosion resistance coating material in hydraulic machine is the thermal sprayed tungsten carbide cobalt chromium. These coatings have a Vickers hardness of 900 to 1200 Hv and 0.3 kg loading, which is harder than feldspar and similar hard hardness as quartz. According to IEC 62364, Coating might initially result in reduction of the efficiency due to the roughness, but can maintain a high efficiency compared to the uncoated turbine over the time. Analysis First, uh, sediment analysis. The analysis of samples collected on different days from the settling basic area showed a maximum sediment concentration of. 2037 parts per million with a sand break of 79 per, 79%. The particle size distribution analysis was done by a seed analysis method and visual accumulation cube back method. Now, second, mineral content analysis. The mineral content analysis was carried out to determine the percentage by volume of the mineral in the water being carried up to the turbine. It was found that average quartz content is 76% and feldspar is 6%, amounting, a, amounting to a total of 82%. Erosion observation. In July 2004, the first maintenance of the hydropower plant was undertaken. During this period, erosion between the nozzle tip and the spur needle is off, was observed. It clearly shows the erosion thickness gap between the spur needle and the nozzle tip at the same time. It also depicts the erosion at the tip of the spur needle. Conclusion Sediment erosion is one of the inevitable challenges in the operation of power plant of many countries. Erosion depends upon several factors including material of the turbine, as well as shape, size, and mineral content of sand. 
in order to have a reliable investment for hydropower development in a country the challenges of sediment erosion in turbines need to be addressed with a sustainable solution any questions yes you mentioned astm what does it stand for astm stands for american society for testing and mining any other no thank you these are the references of my uh, seminar and thank you and have a nice day